what's your question? It's an immigration My question, question for you is, uh, um, when you become president, what would be your specific steps to strengthening the border? Justin, I like your question. And as a middle class black man, I know what it's like to have questions. Hello, welcome to Michigan. Thank you, Oprah. Michigan is one of the states in the United States, and I am in that state called Michigan. And I was raised in a middle class family, so I know what Michigan is like. By the way, I hope that whole P. Diddy thing blows over pretty quick for you, because not everybody knows you were associated with him. It seems like common sense we would see this. We would see this. Yeah, some people just lack common sense, don't they? So I'm glad to be running for president. It seems to us that something happened to you the moment uh, Joe Biden, President Biden, stepped aside and withdrew his candidacy. Yeah, it really surprised me. It's like the media were just all of a sudden instructed to relentlessly say nice things about me. And that's what changed about me. But do you know who's struggling with change? Single mothers trying to change their baby's diapers who can't afford basic necessities like diapers, applesauce, baby poop, and the border. When Donald Trump was in office, he took away women's rights to choose which diapers they want their babies to poop in. He lied to the American people. I've spent my whole life as a woman, so I know what it's like having zoo animals held in captivity against the will of the Affordable Care Act. And I think we need to save this democracy from overpriced water parks. Everybody in America, left, right, middle, has concerns about immigration. Mm -hmm. And I'm told that Justin, Justin, where are you in the audience? Justin, <laughs> what's, your, what's your question? It's an immigration My question. question for you is, uh, um, when you become president, what would be your specific steps to strengthening the border? Justin, I like your question. And as a middle-class black man, I know what it's like to have questions. But I think what you're really asking is, you're tired of all the drive-by shootings and gang violence that I assume you're involved in. Am I right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so when I'm selected president, I'm gonna do something about the border because the current administration has left it a mess. We can't take four more years of this because eventually four years turns into five years and then six years. And then who knows what after that? And people just wanna be able to buy groceries without stepping in bubble gum in the parking lot. So I think with the right amount of duct tape and the rich paying their fair share, we'll be able to make sure that you get to see the next eclipse without having to worry about your right to choose. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. Listen to this. A, a, a majority of young Americans, 18 to 34, say that the cost of living is their top issue ahead of the election. Really would love to know what your plan is to help lower the cost of living. Plan? Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, specifically, I plan on lowering the cost of housing by reducing the price of homes. Because as a fellow person of no color, I know what it's like to be able to afford a house, but want it to be less expensive. But to get that done, we need to decrease funding while increasing funding in order to get that done. And I think if that can be done, it will be done, as it has been to be. Thank you guys. Shelby from Virginia, who's also struggling with the cost of living. Uh, tell us your story, Shelby, why? I'm 24 years old. I'm a graduate student living with my parents and I wanna move out next year and potentially buy a home. And I'm concerned about the affordability of one yeah. with the extra cost and bills that I'm paying now, along with the bills and costs I will pay in the future too. And so everything just has a cost and everything is so expensive. Mm -hmm. And so I'm worried about my capacity and how I'm able to fully support myself once I do live independently. Shelby, I can tell you've got a great head on your shoulders because you're currently not working, you're a student, and expect within a year, you'll be able to buy a home. And that's what the American dream is to get enough REM sleep where any dream can be dreamt into the reality through the power of the Boy Scouts of America. And you know what? Speaking from one black woman to another, I also don't like being accountable to pay my own expenses and bills. 
<laughs> you know, but do you know who Donald Trump wants to pay your bills? You. That's who. But under my administration, I'll pass legislation where you won't have to. Everyone else will have to pay your bills and you'll have to pay everyone else's. That's equal outcome. I'll also sign a bill that mandates equal outcomes in all sporting events because that makes just as much sense and will be just as good. And I think you can see from my track record, I absolutely will not ban fracking once I outlaw it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, you wanna hear what's going on in another battleground state. Tracy is a regional organizing director in Nevada. Tracy, tell us how things are going for you. Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm Tracy Lee, a regional organizing director in Nevada. I am the silver state this year because there's so much on the line. From healthcare to lowering costs, these, is these issues impact all of us. My team and I have been building relationships with voters across this state because here in Nevada, we know that enthusiasm alone does not win campaigns organizing does. You know what, Tracy, you're right. It certainly does. Both my parents were Chinese, even more Chinese than you. And we had a lot of organization in our house. No enthusiasm, a lot of organization. My mother had everything feng shui and my dad would practice his karate moves on the front lawn. And as Chinese, Mexican, American, Africans, we understood that the way to get our Christmas gifts and New Year's abortions was to dream big and tinkle often. What is on your heart to say to the American people as we have 47 days um, until November 5th? What's on your heart? You know, Oprah, we both come from middle-class families, so we literally understand everything. And with the price of prescription medications, school supplies, go-kart racing, and firewood going up, I think we can do better. And once we do that, it'll be done, but we'll still have more work to do. And I will bring my experience as a phlebotomist into the White House so that children and tax-saving incentives can help secure this nation that we all love. America and the occupants in which dwell within it. Thank you, Oprah. Hi. I don't know about you, but I've been having trouble sleeping. It takes me forever to fall asleep, then I'll wake up frequently at night, and in the morning, I always have really low energy. It sucks. And maybe like you, I have tried everything under the sun to try to get better sleep. I stayed up late watching TV, I scroll Instagram right before bed, I check my texts, my emails while I'm in bed, I turn on all the indoor lighting at night, I drink coffee, I've gotten into late night political arguments with who are now former friends. I've even tried holding weighted elephants and none of it worked. Some of that even made my sleep problems worse. But then I started taking Awaken CBD sleep gummies. Now at first, I thought they would make my sleep problems worse because they have the word awaken in them. But I started taking them thinking they might help my erectile dysfunction and they didn't, but they did help me fall asleep faster, sleep deeper, and wake up in the morning with more energy. I was actually shocked at the profound effects my sleep had because quite honestly at Awaken CBD, we don't really know what we're doing, but we accidentally hit a home run on this one. Do not take sleep gummies if you're driving a car, flying an airplane, wingsuit jumping, bullfighting, performing open heart surgery, doing a home invasion, meeting a Tinder date, or performing advanced level mathematics. Upgrade your sleep, one of nature's most profound medicines, with Awaken CBD sleep gummies. Just go to awakencbd.com and grab yours today.